The images that I made basically came from a new instrument that's on the SUMI MPP satellite called OMPS. OMPS main mission is to measure ozone, but one of the other neat things it can do is it can detect smoke and dust. What you're looking at in the images is something that's called the aerosol index. The amount of aerosols in the atmosphere do depend on season. Typically, you see a lot of smoke in the atmosphere during the spring. The smoke is essentially being produced by fires in sort of the border between Russia and China. In order to grow crops and then clear the land, they start burning to clear whatever land they want to clear. In the case of these fires, the smoke can get lofted to four kilometers to maybe 10 kilometers in the atmosphere. At that point, they get picked up by higher level winds and get transported globally. In this case, we saw that the smoke was transported over to North America, and in certain cases, we see smoke that actually circles the globe. The colors on the, on the image are artificial, but what they're meant to convey is basically a sense of the density of the smoke, so that the bluer and greener colors represent less smoke. The yellow and the reds represent more smoke. Along with the colors, I sort of added a, a level of transparency. So the less dense the smoke is, the more you can see through it. And the more dense it is, the less you can see through it. Aerosols is an increasingly important aspect of studying what's happening to the climate. Climate occurs over long periods of time. We need a long-term data set to follow what's happening and to better understand what's happening. So it's important to keep this climate record going and OMS being the next instrument in line is going to take up the slack and continue the record.